All right, this is gonna be tough to see. I uh, made a bracket for my front differential. You can see the bar coming down. It is attached to the top of this uh, frame here. I used angle iron because I like that. I think it's a lot more rigid than just flat iron. And uh, that's about a 10 inch piece going all the way across. Got uh, four holes drilled into it. So that way I can put some U clamps on there. There's also a bolt in the center and you can kind of see where the angle iron is going down to the differential itself. I'm trying to get in here to get you guys a view. Go to the other side. What that's gonna do is a lot like the Turner Cycles. It's gonna allow me to have an upper support on the front diff to keep it from twisting and uh, burning up the uh, brackets there, especially since those brackets had to be egg-shaped uh, to move that whole diff back to get rid of the slop in the uh, drive axle, the drive shaft. So there it is attached. Now, kind of hard to see on the angle there, but toward the tip towards the, the um, diff had to be grinded down a little bit, so that way it doesn't wear into the differential, because I believe that's just either a pot metal, cheap metal uh, casting, and uh, that is uh, carbon steel or whatever, not carbon steel, just uh, flat iron or whatever bracket, and I didn't want to wear a hole in it. So that is it. I will take it out. This is just a dry fit, uh, just to see how everything's going to line up. And then I'm going to paint it and then put it back into place. All right, so here is the new bracket out off the bike. Um, once I get it into place, I will spot weld the top of here, the sides, and the bottom to give it more rigidity. For now, I just put it together with a bolt, and the reason being is I needed this to sit in its most natural form with the, the diff to where I'm not putting the differential in a bind when I put this bracket on. Uh, these are what will attach to the frame. So again, this bar, if you can imagine, this will be the rear of the bike that we're looking at. This bar will sit up on top of the two frames behind my winch. And the reason being is there's a bar that comes down here and a bar that comes this way. So that'll hold that up against the frame nicely. Um, you can imagine this would be your bolt going into the differential. So that way it gives you a side view and then the front view. And again, it's basically just like a cross, uh, but it'll go on top and become the same as the uh, Turner Cycles gusset plate. You could do the same thing on the back of your bike. Uh, I bought their bracket. I think it was like $90 shipped, uh, but that's, that's an expensive thing when I could buy this whole piece of anger, angle iron for 10 bucks. Uh, I've already got the, the screw here and these things are like $1.25 each. You can make this thing for less than $5. So, uh, But that is what I'm going to use for my front differential on the Grizzly to keep it from pulling against the factory mounts on the bottom of the differential and to give it better support. So um, any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, the only measurement I can give you is this bar. The top bar is 10 inches. The rest, I just gauged it by drilling my hole in the bottom here for the differential and then lining it up and drilling here so I don't even know what the size of that is. It's not gonna matter because your differential may not line up exactly as mine does. So you want to dry fit yours just like I did mine so that way you know you got a good fit.